Richard Creature has a call to bring discipleship materials to pastors and everyone who needs them. Richard is an ordained pastor, teacher, and speaker. He's the author of numerous articles, curriculums, and the book Into Thy Word, teaching people how to study the Bible, which is also the premise of the online ministry IntoThyWord.org. The site has a ton of resources for making disciples, Bible studies and articles on church leadership, and check out their newsletter section for an emailed Bible study and message RSS feeds. Here's Richard to talk more about Into Thy Word. My name is Richard Kreacher, and I work for Into Thy Word Ministries. And what we do is we train pastors and church leaders, and I'm the director. Our vision is to point the church back to making disciples. We are started by Francis Schaeffer back in the late 70s, and he asked the question, what happened to discipleship? And so we've been researching why churches are failing, developing curriculum, articles, encouragements, and means to address the problems in churches, and so we can point them back to be wholeheartedly, fully engaged followers of Christ. Basically, my role is I'm a researcher and I'm a writer. And so I look at trends and I take my experience as a pastor and, uh, and I teach in different Bible schools and seminaries and I take that experience. And uh, basically, I'm training people to, to reach Christ. So my heart is how do I equip a pastor to train their congregation to want Jesus Christ? You know, what is their need? Why, why do I have Christ? And we developed a series of curriculums to develop faith and perseverance and character and distinction amongst uh, the pastors and leadership so they can actually point to Christ by how they are. I was one of the original founders. In 1978, I was a high school student and they had a project they asked me to do and it was a Bible literacy project and that's the name Into Thy Word. And I took that name from uh, Psalm 119. And so I went around to interview pastors. I went to interview Francis Schaeffer. They interviewed Ray Steadman and a few others. Back then, they were high-profile pastors. Why do you study the Bible? How do you study the Bible? How do you make it alive? And so how I can study the Bible. And then I put that together in a series of pages and then into a seminar and how to study the Bible seminar. And I've been doing that seminar for almost 30 years. And then over the years, uh, I've developed that into curriculum, into books, into resources. And the other aspects of Into the Word is a think tank, a research organization, a consulting firm, kind of all rolled into one. And then in the mid-90s, we got onto the web. I love researching. I just love finding that missing component or uh, looking at uh, a problem like fasting. You know, fasting draws us nearer to Christ. How do I convince myself I should be fasting? How do I communicate that to pastors? How do I communicate that to church leaders? So I search the scriptures, spend time and pray, pick people's brains that are very good at that, then I'll write a curriculum based on those uh, insights and experiences. A couple years ago, uh, one of my trips to India, I was at a conference and I was training pastors and there were some people there that didn't know the Lord. They were sweeping the floors. In India, they have these brooms without handles. So they're literally squatting on the floor and they're, they're called the Dalits or sometimes people call them the untouchables. And they were just fascinated on what's this white guy doing in this jungle in northern India. They never seen a white guy before and they're just, and uh, they didn't understand what I was saying. They were just fascinated with me. And so then I asked one of the pastors, you know, what's going on here? Don't ignore them. They're just the, the Dalits. Then another pastor, no, no, we've got to reach them. We've got to reach them. So then they start arguing why they should reach and not reach. He says, well, let's, let's talk to them. We'll go over there. And they were fascinating. They were Hindus. And uh, they were nominal Hindus. They kind of grew up being Hindus. And there's one particular person. And it's this person just probably in their 80s, and their joints are fused uh, because of uh, whatever disease they have and just he felt lost all of his life and so I explained the simple gospel message to him and he just it became part of that church that I was ministering to so that's just incredible feeling to see that happen